what happens if you go out there and have the worst game of your life? What happens? After the, after the game's over, are any of your buddies going to come up to you and shoot you? Anybody going to knife you? Anybody going to mug you on the streets? No. The only thing that's going to happen is you're going to feel bad. Now, I don't know. You guys challenge me. Is there anything else that happens? What happens? If you Go ahead. That's right. So, getting yelled... Good job. Thanks for bringing that up. Perfect. So, which one comes under here? When the coach yells at you, is that also followed by his fist? Does coach take you out back after he yells at you and then whips you? No. No. The only thing that happens after that is you feel bad. Now, check this out. So, I have a a longer training on, on this section, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the short version which it, that I teach to the little kids, which is this. Why do we get emotions? Well, we get emotions, all of them, the fun ones and the difficult ones, because they help us learn and they help us grow and they help us live our life. So I'm, I'm not going to dive into that. But the truth about emotions like feel bad, like embarrassment, like frustration, like confusion, all the things that might happen that, will, uh, that if the coach yells at you or you totally choke in a game, the only thing that really happens in real life with you yourself as a, as a human being is, guess what, is a part of your brain back here called the hypothalamus releases some chemicals into your body. And the chemicals latch themselves on to different parts of your body and then you feel something. That's all that happens. It, has anybody here in the past ever felt embarrassed? The worst thing that happens to you when you choke, when you make mistakes, you have a terrible game, you blow it for the team, is you're going to feel some chemicals. And you hold yourself back from your best hockey because you're afraid of your chemicals. Seriously. That's all there is. When you think about it, I have just now made everything known about the worst case scenario for you. If you're not afraid of your chemicals, you've just eliminated a huge chunk of this interference. And you can go out there and just go, whatever, bring it on. Embarrassment, just some chemicals. Yeah, lack of confidence, feeling no confidence, just some chemicals. Anger, just some chemicals. They'll go back to where they came from. So I once had a, a gymnast who was scared to death. I get gymnasts all the time. They can't go backwards, and that's physical injury, right? Uh, and you guys got a, a big element of that in your sport for sure. And all I did was tell her what I just taught you. She's like 10 years old, and she was not able to go backwards for like a year. And I taught her what I just told you guys. The chemicals, they always go back to where they came from. Yeah, you can feel those chemicals. They'll always go back, and you'll be fine. And she went to the state tournament, and her father later told, uh, told me that she just totally unblocked, did her thing. And I, I taught her a bunch of things, including that. And I asked the father, what worked for her? And he said, she told me later she just stood up there and was just about to go the thing she, do the thing she'd been blocked on for a year. And she said, ah, it's just chemicals. And boom, she went and did it. <laughs>